Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie, and if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. So you guys, right now it is 9.46, and I have to rush for an appointment. So right now I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Tatcha water cream. because my face is super dry. And I'm just gonna do, obviously, like a quick get ready with me. I have, I'm not like in a rush rush, but I'd rather just get everything done now. So now that I'm done with that, I am going to go in and prime my face. This is the, actually, you know what? I'm gonna let this sink into my skin. So now I'm going to go in with this. I have been absolutely obsessed with this, you guys. This is from Vanity Australia. It is a brow cushion. This is what it looks like, and it comes with a little brush, which is something that I have been using. I absolutely love this product. I did do a video testing out products from Vanity Australia. They sent me some products, and those were on my honest, honest opinion on the products, and I absolutely love this, you guys. Like, this is so quick and easy. I'm super loyal to, like, my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. You guys know that. I use this all the time. And my BH Ultimate Brow Kit. But this right here, this is amazing. So definitely check it out if you haven't. I will definitely be linking that video for you guys. It definitely turns into a powder and it doesn't budge like throughout the day, you guys. Like this is such a good, good product for your brows. I was happy when they reached out to me to test out some of these products because if they wouldn't have done that, I never would have known who they were and I never would have been introduced to this product. All right, so now that I'm done filling in my brows, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm not doing anything crazy, but I am going to grab the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this brush is the Sigma Flat Definer E15, and I'm gonna use this to just clean my brows up a little bit, not too much. And to blend that out, I'm just going to grab this BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to blend that out. All right, so now that I'm done cleaning up my brows, I'm gonna go in with this right here. This is the Revolu Makeup Revolution Pore Blur, Blur and Prime Primer. I actually really like this. I tried it once and I completely like abandoned it, never thought about it again. And I just saw it in my drawer and I was like, let me try this. And I actually really like it. It definitely blurs my pores and everything. Like it's really, really good. So I'm just gonna use that right there. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Dream Radiant Foundation, Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. It is the has hyaluronic acid and collagen. I am in the shade 80 Cashew. So I'm just going to be applying this with a Real Technique sponge. So I'm just going to pump one there and pump one there. And if I need more, I'll go in with more. Now that I'm done with my foundation, I, I'm gonna go in with the same concealer that I used to clean up my brows, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one is in the shade Medium Sand. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. And you guys, this is like the best concealer. I've been absolutely obsessed with it. It's super creamy. It feels really nice on the under eye, and it gives you really nice coverage. <clears throat> so if you have a foundation that doesn't give you the coverage that you want. I feel like this concealer is going to help with the coverage if you need more. So if you haven't tried it, definitely try it out because it's honestly been used and abused. <laughs> All right, so you guys already know, I'm going to go in with my Loyal Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F13. Let me do this the nose 
lips, forehead. I mean, this one is like the best one ever. You still haven't picked this up? I don't know what you're waiting for. Please go pick it up. I'm actually gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. It's like this little creamy blush. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is a Kenzie brush, it just looks like that. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of the creamy product here and smile and put this on the apples of my cheek. Oh, it's pretty. It's definitely something buildable and you know, not super bright when you apply it. It's, you know, you have to definitely build this up. So it's nice for like a natural everyday. You see that? Looks really pretty. And it says you can apply this on your lips as well. Looks pretty. See that? Looks good. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to go in with my RCMA powder and I'm just going to use my Real Technique sponge as always and set that under eye. Today, I'm gonna to be going in with a bronzer. And this is my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's so good. I love this one as much as I love the Hula Benefit. It's so good. And I'm using my, what is this? My Japanesque brush, 961. Really good brush. I know somebody asked me about this brush and you guys, it's such a good brush. So now that I'm done setting that, I'm gonna go in with the Amrezy palette because I just love this palette. I'm telling you, I've been using this palette over and over and over and over and over and over again. I'm not even kidding you. So I'm just going to go in with the Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty Brush, this one right here. And I'm just gonna go in with OG right here. And to apply that right in the crease. And I'm going to go in with New Yorker right there with the same brush. I'm going to apply that on the outer V and also stick that in the crease. I'm going to grab this shade right here. It's called Wasted. And I'm going to apply that on the lid right there. And this is just a BH Cosmetics brush as well. I'm gonna go right back in with that blending brush with no, no additional product, and I'm just blending whatever's left on the brush and whatever's on the eye, just like that. Now I'm just gonna go in with this brush right here. It's an eye shading E55. I'm gonna grab a little bit of OG and New Yorker and just apply that on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna go back in with that blending brush and just blend my lower lash line. I am going to be grabbing a angled brush, so something like this. This one is from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to be grabbing 1988, the brown from the palette. And I'm just going to do like a little wing nothing crazy just like that literally just a little wing just to extend the eye now you guys I am going to curl my lashes I'm not applying any mascara I mean any false lashes today I'm just gonna go in with my eyelash curler this is the tweezer mint All right, so I don't have the best lashes, so I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I've been really, really liking it, so I'm gonna apply that. All right, so as you can see, the mascara gives my lashes a little bit of life. They make them look a little bit longer and fuller. Um, I have like a couple of missing lashes here. So, I mean, you kind of can't really see it. I just know about it because I know what it looks like. 
but I like the fact that this um, mascara definitely gives it a little bit of a fuller longer kind of like a little bit of a spider lash kind of thing if you're not into that then you're not gonna like it but i feel like if you do like something like that then definitely try this out it's really good now i'm gonna go in and do lip liner i'm gonna go in with this suede um, nyx lip liner in the shade sandstorm and i'm also gonna go in with the morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Taunt, which has actually been on repeat for me. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my Becca, Chloe, and Malika BFF palette, and I'm just gonna use the highlighter from the palette. And just apply that right on the high points, the tip of the nose, cupid's bow, a little bit on the brow bone, nothing crazy. And I'll go in with a little bit on the inner corner. Now you guys, I'm just gonna set my face. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And that is it, you guys. Now I'm just going to take the clips off. I'm going to brush my little hairs out of the way. And this is my final look. Super quick and easy. I probably would have gotten done a lot faster if I wasn't talking. I mean, I didn't talk too much, but I kind of did. So this is pretty much it, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Quick and easy. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.